2022. The Bronx River Alliance serves to protect, improve, and restore the Bronx River to an educational and an economic resource for the community. Now, here to talk about the upcoming event, A Day in the Life of the Bronx River, we have Ecology Director Michelle A. How do you pronounce your last name? Loopkey. Loopkey. Just want to make sure I got it right. Michelle, thank you so much for coming and sharing with thank us. Thank you for having me. So this is a very special event. It is. So share with us a little bit about it. Oh my goodness. It's two of my favorite things, rivers and citizen science. Mm -hmm. Um, and citizen science is essentially getting people like the young people in your audience. You don't have to just go into TV. You could go into science. It's cool. Um, getting them involved in scientific research. So we've invited a number of professional scientists to come out and join us and do various studies on the river. And then we're inviting community members to come out and join them and learn a little bit more about the river. And so when you talk about community members learning about the river, there's obviously a passion for it uh, and there's a cultivated passion for it. Talk to us about the community involvement in your steps and really engaging the community. Oh, we've had a lot of really great outpouring. Um, there's people who you never think they're avid birders and they're so excited to come out to sound view and see what kind of birds are out there. We've got all sorts of fisher people that I've met. Um, there's a New York City chapter of Trout Unlimited that's really excited about working with us because otherwise they have to go to the Catskills. Mm -hmm. But the Bronx River is the only freshwater river in New York City. And so that we think that's pretty special that anybody in New York can come out to a freshwater river and really experience the calmness, the beauty, the aesthetics, but also understand what lives in there too. Mm -hmm. When you talk about the Bronx River, obviously so many people, we drive by it, the sure. Bronx River Parkway, but there's a great history there. Yeah, it's a 24 miles long. It starts up at the Kensico Dam up in Westchester. Um, and it was once considered to be a drinking water supply, but then we started abusing it and we started using it as an open sewer. We still have fecal pollution issues today. So that's one of the things that we also want to bring attention to is that how people can become proactive agents of change to help improve this vital resource in our communities. So when you're talking about being proactive and getting mm -hmm. the community to become proactive, what are some of the things you, you can do? Because obviously the river preservation is a major, a major concern for you. What can people do? Well, I mean, one, you could come out and volunteer with us. We do restoration activities. We do all sorts of testing to see where the contamination is. But other things you can do in your daily life. Um, we have a saying around the office that we like to say is save it for a sunny day. So if it's raining, uh, we have an issue in the Bronx and New York City in general with combined sewage overflows. Mm -hmm. And so that means that water going down the storm drain and water going down the sanitary sewer mix and they overload our wastewater treatment plants. So they have to discharge untreated raw sewage right into the river. So what we're saying is, hey, if you don't need to run the dishwasher, if you don't, if you're lucky enough to have a dishwasher, right. if you don't need to run the washing machine, if you don't need to take that shower right then, just wait a little bit until after the rainstorm so we don't try to overburden the wastewater treatment plant. And if every single person keeps that in mind, then we're going to be putting less water into the system and we're going to be hopefully reducing the raw sewage that goes into our rivers. So as we talk about the day event now, mm -hmm. there's an upcoming event, a day in the life, and uh, we want you to come on out and be a part of that. Now, what do people need to do? They just, I mean, besides show up, they got to get in touch with you early. They do. We have a, an Eventbrite page. It's a day in the life of the Bronx River dot eventbrite dot com. Um, and there's all sorts of different things you can do. There's experimental fishing. Mm -hmm. There's eel shocking. Uh, you can What's go. eel shocking? Oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> much fun. Um, basically, you put electric current into the river, and it sort of um, overrides the nervous system of a fish, and so they kind of pop to the surface, and you grab them with a net, so you can measure them and uh -huh. and count the different types. It's really fun. Eel shocking. Yeah, they survive. Sounds they're, like it's they're fine. illegal, but okay. Well, you have to have a permit. Yeah. So oh, I don't okay. recommend it for just any normal citizen. Don't try this at home. No, right, right, no, right, exactly. Right. <laughs> Go with a professional. Right. Um, we have an invasive plant removal that we're going to be doing with our conservation crew, our amazing crew members um, in the Bronx Forest. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have all sorts of events at the Botanical Garden, at the zoo. Everything from Bronxville down south to Soundview. We're really excited. So it's going to start around 9 a.m. on Saturday, August 13th. Um, and then each different group is going to do different studies. And then at 2 o'clock, we're meeting at Concrete Plant Park for a big event. Um, we're going to have 
dancers and um, art made out of garbage and all sorts of really amazing, incredible um, data exchange. Then all the research groups are going to meet there and they're going to tell everybody what they had found that day. So what you're calling out, a day in the life of the Bronx River. As you heard, it's a 24-mile stretch all the way from Westchester County all the way into the borough of the Bronx. And if you want to uh, spend the time having uh, several events, eel shocking, eel shocking. Eel shocking. Uh, you can, that's just one of the many events. But you can come on out and be a part of that. And Michelle has led us and letting us know all the great things that are going on. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming and sharing. We hope that the weather holds out well and everybody I hope so. can, you know, have a good time. We could even put you in some waders and get you out shocking. Oh, it's a possibility. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Michelle. Thank you.